Here we have. This is calling to the return of the plummet serpent. We found here the words Christ, Messiah, Catastrophe, Eclipse, and many others. There are real experts in Mexico working on this. At the center is life and God. This is pure Mayan. It appeared on August 13, the exact date of the beginning of the Mayan calendar in 3,114 years before Christ. This must be related to the end of the Mayan calendar and something that is going to happen in 2012. I don't believe in catastrophe. I don't believe the world is going to be destroyed. But something very important is going to happen. There are so many prophecies, even in the Bible, even the prophecies of Jesus. And then we have this, which is related to the Sol King, the sacred calendar of the Mayan. The Mayan use this calendar to measure the cycles of one person. Our gestation lasts for 260 days. That's the time of the of the uh, of this calendar, the sacred calendar, 260 days. They had two calendars, one sacred and one solar. You can see this is an amazing figure with so much information in here. It's like the Aztec calendar in here. Now let me explain you this. I can use both, but I had to use one. Okay, here is the, this half circle is the number, the day zero. The day zero is when the Pleiades, the sun and the earth are joined together. And that's the 20th of May. Here in the middle, we have an eclipse, uh, an annular eclipse, a partial eclipse of the sun. And this is going to happen exactly the 20th of May, 2012. And then we have the number 16 in here. 16 days later, after the eclipse, is going to be the transit of Venus in, in front of the sun. Now we have 4 times 13. 4 times 13 is 52. 52 is the new fire. Every 52 years, the sacred calendar and the, and the solar calendar go to the same day, to the same start. That means that this is related to the new, to the new fire, the new eras that they celebrate every, every 52 years. And also we have here the number 20. 20 and there were 13 months of 20 days in the sulking. All this proves that this is the Sulkin calendar. And we have these dates, the 20th of May, and we have also the, the 6th of June. We have two weeks. I don't know what it means, but we have to remember. And again, as I said, this is more or less saying it's going to be the return of Quetzalcoatl, of Kukulkan, of the Messiah, something important. I don't know if it's related because both of them are so close together. Both of them appear. And this is the eclipse of May the, 12, of May the 20th, 2012. It's going to be seen here, United States and Mexico too. Also in half of the world. 